Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 3rd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you an update on space weather, world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, pretty active, as you can see on the right-hand side, CME ejected. Minor B and C class flares from the earth facing and crested sunspots. But most of the action was in the outgoing position. Space prediction spiral showing quite a big CME ejecting away from our sun. And as you can see, large plasma filament in the southeastern region and as well northeast. As our very active sun is going through solar cycle 25, we have to stay on watch. Amazing imagery coming from Solar Dynamics Observatory today. Looking at multi-spectrum at all of the events on our sun the last 48 hours. Nothing thwarted our way, but we do have an Earth-facing coronal hole which is a lot more visible under 171 angstroms here. And it is turning away currently. So we will be expecting that coronal hole wind stream to jack up our solar winds in the next 24 to 36 hours. And this is the coronal hole, the dark region that I was just mentioning. Looking at Iswa, as you can see, CME ejected right at Mercury. No new Earth-facing events, and we do have some space weather coming our way for the 6th into the 7th. Looking at a real-time solar wind, we were definitely hit and affected by the solar flare. As you can see, everything jumped right up around this region. Density bunches were at 41. Big triangle flip. And right now we're steady at about 530 kilometers per second. Having a look at how our planet is holding out from that. Looking at the pressure planes. And also here, the solar winds. This is wind speed. And it definitely jacked up to just about 600 kilometers per second. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 37. Definite effect from our sun. Thank you very much. Into the second and third. Definitely did see some spikes. And that was from the incoming solar flare. So an amplitude of 37, a quality of 10, still pretty good quality, but heavy power. So no wonder I felt so energetic today. Kind of a buzz, you know what I mean? Let's have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours, as we did start out the day with a large 6.5 earthquake in Barranca, Peru, 100 kilometer depth. And I did put out a quick video about that today. As well, lots of activity through Argentina down into Chile, 4.9 there. So this was a region I was watching because it was pretty quiet recently. And boom, it was hit by a 6.5 in Peru and seeing many minor earthquakes going throughout the region. Central America reporting a 4.5, 10 kilometer depth. As well, minor activity continuing here through Puerto Rico. Not so much Dominican Republic. Mid-Atlantic Ridge reporting a 4.8 at a 10 kilometer depth. As well, we have some interesting earthquakes here developing in Iceland. Right atop of an old volcano and glacier, a 4.1 was reported there today. I'm not sure which volcano that is, but it definitely is one that is covered in ice. So heads up, Iceland, you could have another volcano awakening 
Looking across the North American plate, 2.5 here in Hope, Kansas. Minor activity up into Vancouver, as well as California. 4.0 just reported here about an hour ago off the coast of Oregon, 10 kilometer depth. And there's been quite a bit of activity in between this large 4.9 Chiniac, Alaska today, and as well the 4.0 across Canada. We'll have a quick look here at earthquakes for Canada. See lots of activity up into Northwest Territories, Port Alice, BC, Yukon, Old Crow, Yellowknife, as well activity through Alberta. That was reported February 1st. But yeah, wow. Active, active Wanda Fuca plate northward up into Alaska. Going to be keeping an eye on this situation for you, keeping humanity aware and prepared. We'll carry on here as well through the Aleutian Islands, Rat Islands. Quite a few earthquakes reported there. As well, Russia, 4.2, the deepest earthquake today, 342 kilometer depth. Basco, Philippines, as well, lots of activity around Banda Sea, 5.0, 4.9, and as well, activity west and east of Krakatoa, who was raised in alert level today. Afghanistan reporting two earthquakes, 4.9, 4.8, as well as 4. or 5.3 here in Cyprus, south of Turkey. And Kermadec Islands still seeing minor activity. 5.3, 67 kilometer depth, as well just recently 4.9, but no deep earthquakes in the region. Largest was Russia. Let's have a quick look at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Increased activity, two regions forecasted right here with daily events worldwide. Quiet through Japan, China this week. Increased activity here through the Kermadex. Expect some deeper earthquakes here the next few hours, actually. I think we'll be expecting something tonight. Deep earthquake. So heads up, stay safe, ready. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well, the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Starting out here, Santa Maria, Guatemala. As well, Nevada's de Ruiz, Colombia. Sabancaya in Peru. Sangay in Ecuador. Nevada's de Chilean, Colombia. Krakatoa, Indonesia. Revendador in Ecuador. Fuego, Guatemala. Villarica, Chile, Simaru, Indonesia. So that's about 13 volcanoes getting updated today and another one awakened, Krakatoa. As well across the United States, the extreme weather event continues. Tornado watches through Alabama and moving northeastward should diminish through the next couple hours. As well overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Australia, we do have two tropical cyclones to talk about. Tropical Cyclone 9, who is just west of New Caledonia. And as well, Cyclone Batsurai, as it was a Category 4 today. Well, still is a Category 4 cyclone, but it's going to be a Category 2 by the time it makes landfall. Madagascar, and most likely making landfall Saturday afternoon. Well, our time anyway, so Sunday morning. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteorworth and as well daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, Canada. As, yeah, we did have quite a winter wallop come through. Not as much snow as we, as they were forecasting, as that was all tropical moisture coming up. And it was mostly rain, so we lost out on about 15 centimeters of snow.
but it's going to continue through the night through parts of eastern Ontario and racing up the eastern seaboard with extreme weather for the United States, heading into the Atlantic provinces for Sunday, Saturday into Sunday. Watch for Newfoundland to have an extreme weather event there. Blistery winds, rain on the front, snow on the backside. And then watch this system forecast quickly heading into Iceland for an extreme weather event there. So this same low pressure system, the cause for extreme weather events across the United States, up into Canada, the Atlantic provinces, and then Iceland. Across Western Canada, you do have high pressure ridge building in, which is going to bring in quite a bit of Pacific warm air. Watch for temperatures to reach 6 degrees, parts of northern Alberta and southern Alberta. Warm, high-pressure ridge building in. Small Alberta clipper there being diminished by high-pressure ridge. And then the Gulf of Mexico here, we could have another system heading out in the long range through Texas, taking the same track as that system just did across the U.S. and Canada. Overlooking Atlantic Low pressure system through the center of the ocean. Looks like it's going to join forces with a couple lines of moisture from the big low northward. As well, we've got a big winter storm continuing through eastern parts of Europe. Heavy snowfall totals through the region. Watch for another low to head through the United Kingdom into central Europe. And then barrel down into the Mediterranean. Overlooking Russia and Southeast Asia. A couple systems northward, but otherwise mostly high-pressure ridge, dry conditions through Russia, northern China. Southern China, it's a different situation here. you got a big low heading off in the Mongolian mountains. So the Olympics are going to be drenched. And as well, heavy snowfall on the backside of that system. Overlooking the Pacific Still very large lows developing across this major ocean. And watch for a train of systems here to head into Alaska. Heavy snowfall warnings, storm warnings will be issued. Overlooking Indonesia, Malaysia, daily evaporation rains. No cyclones developing. Except for the Indian Sea here. Indian Ocean, another system there developing. Overlooking Australia. Lingering rains through northern parts of the country. But other than that, a dry and daily evaporation rains. Here is Tropical Cyclone 9 developing over New Caledonia by Tuesday. Could be a major cyclone by then. Overlooking Hawaii, widespread rains being thrown your way by three systems that are around you. So you can expect that all day, all week. Spotty rain showers. Overlooking central Mexico there. Going to be keeping an eye on that situation as we do have wave cyclones developing. Overlooking South America. Watch for a low pressure system here through Argentina, but will be ushered quickly southward towards the Antarctic. Line of moisture stretching there through Brazil. Other than that, no major weather to forecast. Overlooking Africa, of course, tropical cyclone Batsurai making landfall Sunday morning. And then most likely will be heading southward after it makes and, and breaks right across Madagascar. We'll be heading southward, but not before sending waves of moisture into Africa. And they've already got flood alerts. So much love. Stay safe, everybody. And prayers for humanity. Going to leave you here looking at both the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Pointing out the major lows that are spinning across our planet right now. And most notable, this big system that's heading into Iceland. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.